Hello, everyone, and welcome. We are so happy to have you with us here this evening for a Wednesday. It's in the middle of the week, our Wednesday get-together. It's always a powerful time of praise and worship and word and prayer. And we're happy to have those present with us. People have been asking, is the church open? Yes, it's just recently opened again at 9, 11, and Wednesdays at 7. But many of you are watching us on Facebook Live, YouTube Live, and we're so happy to have you with us. We're going to have a great time. Whenever you watch this, whenever you see this, it's going to be powerful, I believe. And before we get started with some great praise and worship, I want to invite you to use your faith. The Lord earlier today was laying on my heart these verses. You might recognize them in Matthew chapter 18. Matthew 18, verses 18 and 19. And these verses read, Verily I say unto you, Whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever ye shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. But note the next verse. Again, I say unto you that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything, they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. That really grabbed a hold of me fresh today because the Bible said if just two or more agree, that's why we believe in the power of prayer. That's why I want to encourage you to get your prayer request in. It's so easy to do. All you have to do to go is to go to Faith City Family Church Facebook to the Send Message section or to the YouTube chat section. What could God do for you and for your family if you just took the step of faith and we were able to agree in prayer? We're going to be in the next few minutes praising and worshiping God. But while we're doing that, you can feel free to make your joyful noise, get your prayer request in. Faith City Family Church, Facebook, I want to get them in my hand after the next few minutes. I want to stand right here and pray over your prayer request and anoint them with oil because the Bible promised if just two or three agree, it shall be done. Faith City Family Church, Facebook, send message, YouTube, chat. Take your step of faith and reach out. Those that are present, would you stand with us, please, at this time? Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for those that have chosen to come out to church. We've just opened, oh God, we're happy to have the doors open again. But Lord, we're thankful for the many who are watching, whether on Facebook Live or YouTube. And Lord, we pray that miracle power would be released. God, we pray that everyone under the sound of my voice will receive what they need. In Jesus' name we pray. And Lord, we also want to thank you that no matter how hard it looks, with God, nothing is impossible. Lord, you once were in the tomb and they thought you would be dead forever. But what happened? You came back to life. And the same power that brought Jesus back from the dead brings us back to life as well. We praise you for what's going to happen in Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. We're so happy. Let's give the Lord a praise together. We're so happy to have back with us. We've missed her so long. Monet Guthrie Shelton to lead us in worship. Let's have a great time together and celebrate Jesus. Praise the Lord, everybody. Happy Wednesday. We waited for this day. We're gathered in your name, calling out to you. Yeah. Your glory like a fire, awakening desire will burn our hearts with truth. You're the reason we're here. You're the reason we're singing.
so grateful tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen, Sister Monet. I'm feeling that song right now. You brought me back to life. Come on, Dana, play that song. I, I want everybody here. I want everybody watching me. Some of you sitting down, get up. Maybe your back's a little stiff, but you need to move around. Come on, just clap your hands like this. Come on. Would you clap your hands like that? Come on. Mm. Get up and move around. Come on, let's celebrate Jesus. Dana, keep on playing. And I feel somebody getting a blessing right now. Come on. Get up and give him praise. You can't let the devil hold you back. Can't let the devil discourage you. You got to say, I'm walking by faith and not by sight. Come on. A little bit longer. Everybody get your hands up, 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 up. Come on. Get the rhythm of faith. Come on. Get your hands up. Cause God is good. Oh, yes, he is. I got to praise him, love him, thank him, serve him. Cause he's good. Thank you, Jesus. I'll tell you what. While the Lord is moving during this song, I feel that faith is moving right now. And I know that that clock is moving so fast, that hour of power moves so quick. But I know that we have a Jesus that moves real quick. He's a Jesus who still does miracles today. And I want to ask Brother Harmon, our outreach director, if he would come and we're going to get ready to pray for the requests that have come in thus far. It's so easy to get your request. I want to get them in my hand. I want to pray for them personally. I want to read them out. If it's unspoken, I'll handle it that way. But all you got to do is go to Faith City Family Church Facebook to the send message or the YouTube chat. And we've got our team right over here watching the screens ready to get your step of faith, your move of faith as you're trusting God for your miracle. Brother Harmon, thank you so much. God bless you. This says, well, this is a great one to start with. Pray for equal love, respect, and opportunity for everyone of all colors. Amen. Can I hear a loud amen for that? We're going to pray for that because I believe that God is doing something in our nation and around the world to try to bring that to pass. This says, pray for my family, the whole, the whole family. That's what we will do. This says, please ask God to touch the soul of my daughter. Her name is Donnie. This is submitted by Teresa. Come on, get us the name of family members. We'll call them out. Faith City Family Church, Facebook, Send Message, YouTube Chat. Pray for my nephew. He needs a miracle. Amen, Natasha. Count on it. Tonight we're praying for all of this. Please pray that my entire family will accept Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. God bless DeVell for having the faith to get that in. Amen. It's not too late. Come on, get your request in. They're doing it They're over there watching the screens right now, ready. Listen, maybe you need a job. You need a financial miracle. You need a door to open. You know, I feel led to call out again. Maybe you need a 24-hour miracle. Get it in right now. Faith City Family Church, Facebook, send message, YouTube chat section. This says, keep my family in your prayers by Ashley. Please pray for God to heal me so I will be able to walk. Kitana, in the name of Jesus, God's going to honor your faith. Keep all of my family and children and grandchildren covered for, with the prayer of deliverance. They all live back in Texas. You see, it doesn't even matter where your friends are, your family, there's no distance in prayer. Please pray for my family to find a place to live. This says, please pray for my niece, Ashley, to find employment. Please pray for my family, uh, the grandson, especially my grandkids, that they will walk with God in the name of Jesus, submitted by Colia. Amen. Brother Harmon, do you have the oil? If you do, uh, we're going to get that, and we're going to lay hands on these requests in the name of Jesus. You might be uh, saying, what is this beautiful brown box? It's our prayer request box. 
And inside this box, there's over 1,000 prayer requests that have come in. We believe if we keep the prayer wheel turning, that the mountain will move. Can somebody shout amen in here and watching me? You just got to keep that prayer wheel turning. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, we lay hands on these prayer requests. And in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, uh, we pray that you would heal the sick, Lord Jesus. Uh, Father, heal people of all sickness and disease. Uh, Lord, that person that needs a place to live, uh, faith got that request into us. Uh, God, we pray you will open up a door for a place to live in the name of Jesus. Uh, Lord, for the loved ones all the way down in Texas, uh, God, we ask you to touch every one of them them in the name of Jesus right now. Lord, for Natasha's nephew, God, get involved in that situation. I believe it's over in Jersey somewhere. God, get involved with it in Jesus' name. Lord, for every one of these requests, we are agreeing in prayer. Those of us gathered at the church service are stretching our hands out in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God, we give you the glory. We give you the praise right now. Those of you that are here and watching, stretch your hands out to me right now. I feel the power of God to pray over you. We're going to pray for one another because that scripture we open up with, if just two or more shall agree and they will ask, it shall be done. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, those that are gathered here in the sanctuary, I pray the power of God will touch every single one of you gathered in this room right now. I pray that Jesus would heal you. I pray that he would comfort you. I pray that he would minister to you. I pray that he would work on your behalf in Jesus' name. I pray he would touch your household and your family, amen, your financial situations in the name of Jesus. Those of you watching right now, I pray the power of God come into that space in the name of Jesus and touch you right now. Somebody watching, you've had a pain in the lower part of your back. God is healing you right now. You need to stand up and start giving him the praise and the glory because that's the healing power of Jesus Christ. Somebody with your pain in your jaw and it's just been, you can't sleep on that side and it's been worrying you. Jesus Jesus is healing you right now by his mighty power. Somebody give the Lord a shout right now. Give him a loud praise. Somebody shout hallelujah. Lord, we give you praise right now for your miracle healing power in the name of Jesus. Somebody needs a mountain to move. Those in the service, if you need a mountain to move, raise your hand. Those of you watching right now, you need a mountain to move, raise up your hand. Jesus said speak to the mountain father right now in the name of jesus we speak to every mountain for every person every circumstance and we speak to that mountain we command it to be removed and cast into the sea and lord we believe that it's moving right now I want to challenge you to raise up your hand and praise the Lord that is moving right now. Just like this song has a movement to it, God is moving right now. He is moving. The mountain is moving. In the name of Jesus, the mountain is moving right now in Jesus' mighty name. Come on, give him a loud praise. I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost in here. And wherever you're watching this right now, God is with you and he is touching you by his power power and by his spirit now it's not too late to get your request in we're going to be praying one more time towards the end of the service faith city family church facebook youtube chat section and we pray two times during the service in the middle and at the end so you still have time to get yours in but i want to take a little walk over here to the greatest symbol of freedom the symbol of freedom that is known around the world and it is the old rugged cross. People look at this symbol from every nation, from every part of the globe, and it says the same thing. No matter what language you speak, no matter what ethnicity you might belong to, Jesus died for everybody. And so many of you, you look at this and you ask questions. You say, what's all of the scribbling on the cross? 
And uh, my answer is always the same. They're the names of people and individuals who when we took this cross out, people got saved on the corner. And we asked them, if you got saved right in the hood, right out on the corner, take this, take this marker and write your name and on this side and that side and this side. Let me look. On the, on the back side, this cross must have three, four hundred names on it. People that have gotten saved. And, and I say this every single time. That if Jesus could save somebody out on the street, I know that Jesus can save you right now. I got some good news for you. You don't have to join anything. You don't have to change your clothes. You don't have to look different. The Lord will tell Listen, you could be high right now. Somebody said, are you kidding me, preacher? I meant what I said. You could be high right now and Jesus deliver you and save your soul. And I feel the anointing to ask everybody here in this service and those of you that are watching to pray this prayer. While I'm asking you to get ready to pray it, I want to remind you of the pain and the suffering that Jesus did. You see... He took the crown of thorns about three Wednesday nights ago, I, and I thought I'd broken the skin on my finger. These are like, I'm telling you, these are like little knives, and this is from Israel that I'm holding in my hand. This was a gift given to me years ago by one of the members of the church, and they put it on the head of Jesus, and blood came out of the scalp of our precious Savior. Why did he go to such lengths to suffer? He took my sin and he took your sin so that right now you could call on him and be saved. I'm, I'm going to ask you, I just heard somebody over here cry out Jesus in the church. Maybe you want to say his name. Somebody shout Jesus in here. Somebody shout Jesus watching right now. Jesus, there's power in the name of Jesus. He'll save you now. I want to go kneel at this cross. I want to ask everybody under the sound of my voice if you would repeat this prayer after me. Pastor, I, I'm a bad person. I've done a lot of bad. I don't want to hear about that. Jesus died for all of it. His blood covers all. Anything that you and me ever did, it's covered by the blood. I'm going to ask Sister Monet to repeat this to help guide us along the way. But I promise you, if you will open up your mouth and call on Jesus, He'll save you right now. Everybody repeat with me, if you would, please. Dear Jesus, Dear Jesus I want to say thanks for suffering on the cross for me. Right now, Jesus, I confess my sin, and I ask you to forgive me of that sin and to wash me clean. I don't want to go to hell. I want to go to heaven. I want to be with you one day. I want to be with you one so day. Right now, so right now, I receive you as my Savior. I receive you as my, I receive you as my I Lord. Receive you as my Lord. And I believe that you save me right now. And I believe that you save Thank me you, right Jesus, now. Thank you, for Jesus, saving my soul. for saving my soul. I am no longer lost. I know I'm not but thank God I am saved. But thank God I am thank saved. you, Lord. Thank Somebody you. give a loud shout right now. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. I once was lost, but now I'm found. I was blind, but now I can see. Why? Because of the cross. Come on, we can shout a little bit better than that. Oh, thank you, Jesus. God, we give you praise. You know, I, I feel in my spirit, there was a whole lot of folk prayed that one. I just feel it. I'll tell you, the devil is going to try to tell you nothing happened. You know why? Because he's a liar. How many know the devil is a liar? Jesus called him a liar. And he'll try to tell you nothing happened. It was just an emotional vibe that went on in your life. But let me tell you, you've been saved. And we want to give you something to remind you that you got saved. And here it is. It's coming up on the screens. It's this beautiful little cross necklace. I'll tell you the emails, tons of emails come into the 
office every single week, people saying, I want me a cross necklace. I want to be reminded that I'm a Christian, that I'm saved. And even some people have said when they wear the cross, it helps them feel safe. It reminds them that Jesus said, I will not leave you and I will not forsake you. And so if you would like that cross, just email us at faithcityoffice at gmail.com. Just give us your address, faithcityoffice at gmail.com. We'll get it right out to you in the mail, and we'll just be honored to do it. You might say, well, I'm watching you from, I'm watching you from California. I'm what, listen, two, I think well, two Sundays ago, somebody uh, uh, sent a prayer request in from Nigeria, and, and we're, we're getting them from all over the country and from around the world. I don't care where you're watching this. I want to send you a cross to remind you that Jesus is your Lord and he is your Savior. I feel another shout coming on. Can somebody give a loud praise in here? Can somebody give a loud praise watching? Come on, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God is good. Those of you in the church, you may be seated. I want us to give a praise to the Lord for Sister Monet Guthrie Shelton, who was back with us leading worship. We missed her. And it's so good to have you, gal. I'm going to tell you now, so good to have you. Man, I feel a lot of love in this house. How many could, could raise a hand and say, when nothing else could help, the love of Jesus lifted you up? Maybe somebody didn't want to love you anymore. Maybe people turned their back on you. But Jesus, he always loves us. Amen. And I thank God for Jesus. But you see, the church's work is not just inside the four walls. There's a lot of work to do outside the four walls of the church. We're coming to that point of this time that we have together to give financially to the work of the gospel. The first two letters of the word gospel are G and O. Jesus said, go ye. Jesus said, don't just keep the blessings to yourself, but share them with somebody else. And I'm asking, would you prepare your heart right now to get ready to be generous? Because I promise you that when you give to the work of the gospel, it's going to come back to you. When you let go of what's in your hand, God will let go of what's in his. But if you hold on to what you have, that's the most it can ever be. But when you say, Lord, I'm going to give back to you because, and I hope I get some amens, if without the Lord, we may not have anything. Somebody said, but I work, I, I had to work long hours, I had to do this. But who got you up out of bed in the morning? You didn't get lucky. You got blessed. So would you be willing to be generous? The Bible says that when we give our tithes, the 10% of the money he helps us make, we give generously through our offerings. Something happens. I read, bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse from the book of Malachi, that there may be meat in my house. And prove me now, who says the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. And I will rebuke the devourer for your sake. Now, now listen carefully, please. When you give financially, there are three blessings. Let's count them down. Number one, he said, I'm going to pour you out a blessing. Now, when God blesses, he knows how to bless. Matter of fact, he knows what you need even before you need it. Secondly, he said, I'm going to give you increase. He said, there will not be room enough to receive it. He said, I'm the God who will increase you. And finally, he said, I will rebuke the devourer. I will put a hedge of protection around your life. But get this, not only you, but your family. 
I believe that I'm blessed today because of the good choices that my parents made. I believe many of us are blessed because somebody else went ahead of us. And we're reaping those blessings. So when you're generous to the work of the Lord, you're going to bless your kids and your grandkids because you're helping us to help somebody. Why do we need your generosity? Because we are an outreach church and an outreach ministry. What's the next outreach? Well, we're getting ready this Sunday, June the 14th, for the big prayer march. And we're going all out. We're promoting. We are pushing. Reach Gospel Radio 97.1 FM. Philly's Gospel Music Station, which comes right out of this ministry. At 1 o'clock, people will be gathered at the Met in Philadelphia, 858 North Broad Street. And in this prayer march... People will march from 858 North Broad up a few blocks to City Hall. We're taking the sound system. We're taking the cross. We're taking the outreach ministry van. Why are we marching? Because we need a change in our country. We need a change in this world. And we're going to be praying for the family of George Floyd and the healing and change that we so desperately need. I'm asking for you to remember tonight that even though the gospel is free, it takes money to take it outside the walls of the church and take it to the people. I'm going to pray, and after I pray in a couple moments here, I'm asking, would you do your very best? If you've not given your tithe yet, this would be a perfect time. If you feel led in your heart, and I pray you do to give a special outreach offering, marching the streets of the city of brotherly love, praying, believing God that equality, that justice, that peace, that unity will come on our streets and our communities. But how many know the church has got to be involved? We got to pray. We got to believe. Before I pray, we've made it easy to give, so easy. You can text to give. You just pick up your phone and begin to dial, uh, 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 plug in the number 302-455-2820, and then all of a sudden a secure link will come up, and you can give safely, confidentially, and securely if you'd like to give that way. You can also use the Cash App, another very secure, confidential way. The dollar sign, Faith City, FC2, lower or uppercase, doesn't matter. But you must add the dollar sign. You can go to faithcitynow.com, the church's website. I'm letting that sit there for just a second because we need a financial blessing tonight. Those of you that are in the church service, I'm appealing to you as well. And I hope that on your way into the sanctuary, you did take a tithing offering envelope if you need one they're located in the lobbies and then you can also mail in your tithes and offerings to the street address of the church it'll come right to the front door of the church 179 Stanton Christiana Road Newark Delaware 19702 Faith City Family Church 179 Stanton Christiana Road Newark Delaware 19702 and if you would like for the church to send you as others are asking us to do by mail, a stack of tithing envelopes because you're unable to get out to church yet at this time, email the church at that same address for the cross necklace, faithcityoffice at gmail.com. Now, Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you for this hour of power service. Lord, I'm praying that, uh, Lord, that even at the close, uh, when we pray for more requests, that the miracle power of Jesus will be released to the north, the south, the east, and the west. But God, right now we need people, everyone under the sound of my voice to say, what can I do to be a part of the answer? What can I do to take the love of Jesus to the streets, and especially this week to the streets of Philadelphia? where they call it the birthplace of liberty. 
God, we need a revival. What a great city to be marching in where we can say let freedom ring once again as freedom ought to ring. God, I am praying for generosity and a miracle, miracle offering in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to ask Brother Dana Saray, our music ministry director, to provide us with a selection and I'll be back in just a brief moment and we'll scroll the different ways that you can give. Thank you and God bless you. sing that song. Emmanuel, he is Emmanuel, his name is called Jesus Emmanuel. He is God. been revealed in us. His name is called Emmanuel. Would you raise your hand and sing it with me? Emmanuel. We worship Emmanuel. His name is called Jesus Emmanuel. God with us, and He's revealed in us. His name. God with us. He won't leave you. He's been revealing us. And his name is called Emmanuel. Just raise your hand and love him right now. He said, I will not leave you and I will not forsake you. He's the God who is always there. He's the God with you when you cannot sleep. He's the God who walks with you through the valley of the shadow of death. And he says, you don't have to fear any evil for I am with you. The God who says that I am more than enough. The Lord is with you. He's blessing you. He's filling you with your, his presence right now so that you can say, greater is he that is in me than he that is within this world. Amen and amen. Somebody say praise the Lord with me right now. Oh, God is good. God is good. God is good. Yes, he is. Just before we bring forth the word of the Lord in this hour of power, I want to remind everyone that we are in the season of honoring all of our graduates. And I would love to be able to get your picture, your name, the name of your school. 
and be able to put it up on the screen. Do you know that last week, Brother Rao shared with me, last week in seven days of views, we logged in over 14,000 views on Facebook and YouTube. I'd like to get your picture. I'd like to get your name and the name of your school and let those thousands of people celebrate with you what you've done. Email that to us at the simple address that we have there on your screen to faithcityoffice at gmail.com. That's faithcityoffice at gmail.com. Come on, make sure that you do it. We've been honoring so many graduates, and we would like to honor you. I'd like to walk over here to the wall of honor and uh, what, what this is. And I don't know while I'm talking if BK can do the B-roll. I'll keep an eye on my monitor to see if he can. I just feel that would be a nice touch. This wall is filled with the pictures of young people their names, the name of their school, there it is. Those of you in church, you can't see it, but those of you on Facebook and YouTube, look at that, that beautiful close-up of, that's what I want to do with your picture, with your name, with your school. And all you have to do is just get it into faithcityoffice at gmail.com. We want to lift up our graduates because this has been a challenging year, the year of 2020. Everybody present, let's give a loud hand clap in here. Come on, and let everybody know we're about lifting up our graduates. Yes, we are. FaithCityOffice at gmail.com. And all our graduates are getting gifts. That's right. I'd like to take just a quick little moment here if we're able to show you the gifts that we'll be sending by mail. The first gift is the Celebrate the Past and Embrace the Future, the book and the beautiful keychain and flashlight to go along with it. And it's absolutely free. Email us at faithcityoffice at gmail.com. And for the little graduates, we've been, listen, even for the little ones, preschool, kindergarten, we've got something for them. Would you look at that? And it's not, we're, we'll make sure, Brother Leonard, please make sure with Brother Phil that we have that for all the screens on Sunday. But that's even the little, for the little graduates, the gift that they will receive. So, Pastor, sounds like it's a big push for graduation. You better believe it because we need to encourage one another. We're not forgetting about dad either. Father's Day is just around the corner. And those who attend church are able to come out to church. Again, we've just opened up 9 and 11 and Wednesdays at 7. The church is open. Those that feel they can come are beginning to come. We know it's a process over time. But whether you're here or you're watching, you can get your beautiful Father's Day gift as well. And it's going to be an awesome, awesome time. The message that God gave me for the next few minutes, I believe, is right on time. And the title of this message is, How to Increase the Level of Your Faith. How to Increase the Level of Your Faith. If there ever was a time we need to increase our faith, it is right now. It is today. And I want to remind you that at the end of our hour of power, we're going to be praying for any other requests that have come in. You can get your prayer requests to us. Our team is ready to take them off right off of Faith City Family Church Facebook, the Ascend Message section or the YouTube chat section. And at the close, we'll pray and anoint with oil once again. But we're in a season where we need an increase in the level of our faith. We're going to open up reading in Colossians chapter 2, verse 5, 6, and 7, these words. For though I be absent in the flesh, yet I am with you in the Spirit, joying and beholding your order and the steadfastness of your, note this, steadfastness of your faith in Christ. The next verse reads, As ye have therefore received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk in him. Verse 7, Walk in him in this way, being rooted and built up 
in him and established in the faith as ye have been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving. So we're seeing in verse number 5, steadfastness of your faith. And in verse 7, be established in your faith. Now, how do we increase the level of our faith? Well, first, let's ask the question. Let's put the question up on the screen. What causes people to find themselves trying to get through this life with a weak faith. I'm going to let that sit there for a moment. Think about that question for a moment. What causes people to find themselves trying to get through this life with a weak faith? Well, the Bible says there are a number of things that cause that to happen, and it can happen to any of us, regardless of how long we've known Jesus or the many years we have served him. First of all, we must be beware, the Bible says, of dis distractions. The devil comes to distract us, and he'll use anything he can to get our eyes off of the answer and off peace and off healing and off blessing and he wants us to focus on pain and loss and discouragement and fear that's why jesus said when he was giving this message in matthew chapter 6 verse 33 jesus was preaching and he said don't be distracted but seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness. Keep your focus on that. And all these things shall be added unto you. I've been saying this a lot. Uh, there's nothing wrong with being informed. We need to be informed. But too much of watching the news can distract you after a while. Sooner or later, after you've gotten the headlines, you don't need to watch for seven hours. All they do is recycle the headlines. And the next guest resets it another way. And they play the same B-roll. And they play the same negative things. There comes a time you need to turn off the negative And you need to get into the positive. Can somebody shout amen? You need to get into the Word of God. You need to get into faith. You need to get into positivity. And so, first of all, distractions can cause people to find themselves with a weak faith. Next of all, the Bible says another problem is wrong beliefs. You see, everything we believe is a matter of choice. Our beliefs are chosen. And I want to give you one of the best examples ever recorded in the Bible of somebody choosing a belief. In Joshua 24, verse 15, some of you might remember this story in the Bible. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, if that's your choice, choose this day whom ye will serve, whether the gods which your fathers served that were on the other side of the flood, flood or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you live. But here's the choice piece of this verse. Joshua said, but as for me, my choice, but as for my house, our choice, we will serve the Lord. And friend, if you get caught up in wrong influences and wrong belief systems, it will cause your faith to drain. What do you need to be believing? You need to believe that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. You need to believe that by his stripes we are healed. You need to believe that God will supply all our needs. You need to believe that he is a sea walker, a blind man healer, a dead man raiser. You need to believe he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. You need to believe that he is still God on the throne during the COVID-19 pandemic. You still need to believe he's still on the throne, even though we need justice and peace and unity. You need to believe in the right things. And if you will believe in the right things, your faith will enlarge and it will grow. What else causes people to find themselves trying to get through this life with a weak faith? Next of all, the wrong response to tragedy and disappointments. How we respond to something 
many times can affect the outcome on the other side of it. If we have a bad attitude, it can ruin everything. Our attitude determines our altitude. Your attitude can affect your health, your finances, your relationships. We need to respond the right way to tragedy and to disappointments. Somebody said, well, I can't believe it. I've been a Christian all these years, and this happened to me, and that happened to me. Well, let me just tell you, bad things still happen to good people. That's why we got to keep the faith. And I love what Jesus was preaching in St. John chapter 16, verse number 33. I love how Jesus is telling you and me, his followers. He's telling everyone in this service and those watching right now. He says, you're going to have trouble in life. He says, these things have, I have I spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. Now listen to the next sentence here. In the world you shall have tribulation. Did you hear that? Jesus said you and me are going to have some problems along the way. But he said, be of good cheer. Somebody say, be of good cheer. Be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. So the attitude that we need, the response that we need is, you know what, what happened maybe is not good, but my God is good. Amen. What's going on right now may not be all that good, but my God is a great God. And I know that the God that got me through years ago will get me through today. Amen. The God that saved my life before will save my life today. The God that helped me pay my bills then will help me pay my bills now. The God that saved my other family members will save the rest of my family members. Somebody give God a praise right now. We've got to respond in faith. And I, I, I chose another verse, Psalm 86, verse 7, but I kind of preface it with a question to me and to you. What do you do when trouble comes your way? This is the answer right out of the Bible of what I should do and what you should do when trouble comes. David said, in the day of my trouble, I will call upon thee. I feel like shouting right now. For thou will answer me. I need everybody to repeat this in church and watching me right now. Say, in the day of my trouble, I will call upon thee. For thou will answer me. If you believe it, shout amen. amen. So if you're in trouble right now, call on God. Those of you here, those of you watching, call on God. Somebody said, I called on him, but it hadn't gotten better yet. Keep on calling on him. Keep on praying. Because the Bible said the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. You don't just pray one time and walk away. You keep on praying. You keep the prayer wheel turning. Amen. You keep on going. You keep on trusting. You keep on getting up in the middle of the night if God tells you to. And walking and praying and trusting God. Because if you'll keep praying, God will keep on working. What else causes people to find themselves trying to get through this life with a weak faith? D, lack of understanding of how biblical faith works. And as our musicians get ready to come, this is the final point of this message that I'm going to share as our musicians come. Lack of understanding of how biblical Faith works. How does Bible faith work? Well, I'm going to read to you how it works, and then we're going to put it into action. In Mark chapter 11, we're going to begin to read the following verses. And Jesus answering saith unto them, Have faith in God. The next verse says, For Verily I say unto you, Jesus saying it right now, out of the scriptures, that whosoever, that's you and that's me, shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, 
but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Next verse. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them and ye shall have them. Somebody ought to shout and praise God right now. So faith works like this. I want everybody, as Brother Danny begins to play, to repeat this after me. I'm going to show you how to put your faith into action. Everybody here, everybody watching, I know you have at least one mountain, one problem, one situation that needs to be dealt with by the power of God. So I want you to repeat after me loudly. Everybody, say, in the name of Jesus, I have faith in God. I speak to the mountain or the mountains that I'm facing. Be thou removed and be cast into the sea. I do not doubt in my heart but I believe that what I'm saying right now, this very moment, will come to pass. And I will have, say it like you mean it, and I will have whatever I say. I believe that I received it, and now I raise my hand. And I give him praise for it. Come on, right now. That's, I just showed you how. Come on, mountain mover. Come on, mountain mover. Lift up your voice in praise. Lift up your voice in thanksgiving. Come on, mountain mover. That's what you are. You're a mountain mover. You're not a victim. You're an overcomer. Hallelujah. I said, you're not a victim. You're an overcomer. Glory to God. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we praise you. Right now, somebody put up a loud praise. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. As we remain standing in the church, thank you. We get ready for a close in just a moment. I said that we would pray for any other requests that have come in. Brother Harmon is coming faithfully with our prayer ministry box. We we're a prayer ministry. I say this all the time. Little prayer, little power, lots of prayer, lots of power. When we pray, God listens. This says, pray for my daughter, Sanaya. She is struggling with depression. I believe that God is going to deliver Shania. Can I hear an amen? And many of you watching fighting depression, God is going to deliver you of it. I say it in the mighty name of Jesus. It says, pray for Cynthia. Pray for Yolanda Harris and Shay Harris. Pray for Donald and Kena Poon. Pray for traveling grace for Apostle Carol and Dr. Hines as they travel from Chicago to Texas. Amen. Pray for Linda and husband for healing to his body. Hallelujah. Feel the power of God. Pray for those, this says, who need salvation, healing, deliverance, love, joy, peace, food, clothing, shoes, housing jobs increase in their finances amen this says pray for salvation deliverance and protection and direction for my daughter for family healing and restoration and provision for pastor hair and faith city family church amen thank you linda for bringing that in please pray for my brother sean to be delivered from drugs and mental issues 
please put his name on the cross. Brother Harmon, can you, when this service is done, come a little closer, if you would, Brother Harmon? That's good. I think that's six feet, isn't it? Or we're close to it. Amen. But I'm glad, listen, I am glad that S. Harrison just gave, this was of God. If you want us to put your name on the cross, Brother Harmon, do you mind when the service is over, making sure this name gets on there, writing it on there? And then, Brother Harmon, can we... For, the, for Sunday, get another cross that has room on it for names, and we'll start writing the names of people right while you're watching on the cross. Because how many know there's power in the old rugged cross? Can I hear an amen right now? So yes, we will write Sean's name on the cross. Before we close in prayer, this says, please pray for Sandra Hi, Smith, my cousin lost her son in a motorcycle accident. My God. Pray for a friend. Her daughter uh, slit her wrist. Oh, my Jesus. And my son, Tyrone, keeps hanging around the wrong people. As a result, he ends up in jail. I started a family business hoping and praying he would come and help. He is so talented and I need prayer that he would stop wasting his gifts and begin to walk with God. How many believe that God is able, God is able, God is able, God is able? We're going to lay our hands on the request for the harmony. This dear young girl slitting her wrist, that's the devil trying to attack father right now in the name of jesus we anoint every one of these requests in the name of the father the son and the holy ghost right now god in the name of jesus we pray against suicide god we pray against addiction we pray against all sickness and disease we pray for traveling mercies oh god god we pray for family and household salvation in the name of jesus god we pray for financial provision we pray for increase oh God Lord we pray that you would pour out that there would not be room enough to receive it and we agree in prayer and we call it done by faith then we speak to every mountain be removed and be cast into the sea in Jesus name can we give a loud praise right now we believe that God is answering that God is moving that God is touching that God is working in every life whether here or those that are watching right now and before I let you go I want to remind you we are the Lord put it on our hearts to lift up and encourage all of the graduates here's how you do it I'm gonna bring it up on the screen right now email me your picture your name and the name of your school I want to get you on the wall of honor. I want to put your picture, your name, your school name to the thousands who will see it. And we want to encourage you and honor you in Jesus' name. Also, I want to remind you to join us this Sunday at 9 and 11 for Power Pack Services right here. Faith City Family Church is now open. There's space to sit. You can sit six feet away from one another. You can sit together as a family. We got it all set up. If you want to make your first walk of faith into the house of God, Come and join us this Sunday at 9 and 11. If you can't, you can continue to watch online. And remember, Brother BK, I feel this because we're doing this march. The march is coming this Sunday, June the 14th. Listen, it's time to stop complaining, and it's time to go out on the street and say something and do something about it. Meet us at Holy Ghost Headquarters Revival Center at the Met. Reach Gospel Radio 97.1. Meet us at the Met as we are doing the prayer march to City Hall, praying for the family of George Floyd and the healing of the change that is so desperately needed. For more info, go to HGH Philly Facebook. They've got it all really laid out there in detail. And Brother BK, I feel led because we need financial support to take things to the streets. I, I need you to remember to give to the ministry. You can give through the text to give, the cash app the faithcitynow.com 
or the church address. We'll scroll that at the end. But I just want to say at five minutes past the hour that why had me a blessed time tonight. Did you have a good time with the hour of power? Somebody give God another loud praise. Hallelujah. Now let's stretch our hands out to each other. I close with the benediction. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. We bless you now in the name of God the Father, Jesus the Son, and the Comforter who is the Holy Ghost. Amen and amen. One more loud praise for Jesus. Thank you. God bless you. Amen. Thank mm -hmm. you.